back out. This time we are doing a little review of the trousers. The people at Hardland sent these. So I've had them a couple of weeks. I've been on a few camps, done a bit of hiking. Um, so we'll go through, we'll go through what's what. Quite impressed with them. Alright, so the very kind people at Hardland sent us a pair of the tactical trousers. I wanted the black ones, but they didn't have them in stock, so these will do. So I've been using them for like uh, two weeks on a few camps. Like I said, was out for a, a couple of hikes. Uh, just to go through them, the main features are the pockets. How many pockets do you need? Nice action YKK zips pockets. So it's zipped there. It's huge. It's a bellow pocket, so you've got plenty, plenty room in there. It's massive that pocket. And they've got the zip and the velcro fastening on both sides. Nice, good action of the zip there. Like that. Right. So that's them pockets there. I've got these two pockets here, which are ideal to keep your phone in. See how deep they go. Cracking. There's one on either side. If you've got two phones, <laughs> whatever you want to put in there. The main pockets, which is what you stand like that waiting for the bus big again big pockets you've got reinforced bits there so if you want to clip something on a lot of bushcrafters have clip on saws knives anything really that's them we've got the pockets on the back oh, zipped right. oh no they're not zipped Velcro fastening on the wallet in that one. Again, nice and big, big size. We've got the belt loops. The belt loops are big for them tactical belts if you've got one of them. And there's quite quite a big gap there. Feel pretty strong. On the loops you've got some of these buckles, feel nice and sturdy, made out of metal, hard land, so you can clip on, clip on a carabiner, put your keys in your pocket there, or your knife or string, whatever, whatever you clip on your trousers. Got these pockets here, again, quite deep, quite deep there, two of them. You used to call them your secret pockets, didn't you, on your jeans? And on this one, you've got a, a hole there, so it goes through, through there, so if you've got an axe or a saw, you can put that through there, you open the zip, you can put it through into the, into the trousers, put your saw in there so you can carry it, it's quite good, I like that. So the knees, articulated knees will take knee pads inside, get inside, put your knee pads inside this area here, and they're quite, they're quite good, got like a cotton and lycra stretch, so there's a stretch material, you've got the ties at the bottom, so you tie them up at the bottom, yeah, they're good for, uh, good for climbing. In. I had them out in a, um, a right rainstorm one time, got drenched, but for the first, say, first half an hour of rain, the rain beat it off, they were water resistant, they're not waterproof, they did get through eventually, but they were good up until about half an hour. So we've come out in the rain to try and see 
how they perform the waterproof come in with the camera come up with the the water's just beading off them like it's just beading off and it's really raining so in there mm -hmm, bone dry can't really tell but they are so they stood the test of the waterproofness Just brushing off. Not bad. Not bad for waterproof. Water resistant, I would say. Not waterproof. Although, seeing that, there's not letting any water in. Then they started letting the water in. But I like them, they're comfortable. Nice fit. You get black ones, black, um, green, this colour. Jeff, there's another colour. Have a look on the have a look on the link. Well, I'll put the link in the description. And I think there's a discount code as well. All in all, not a bad pair of trousers. Hardland, Hardland Tactical. Have a look at the website. They've got all sorts. They've got backpacks, jackets, vests, loads of stuff. All for good for bushcraft. These are good for work. I'm going to use them for work as well. Just put all my little notepads and all my bits and bobs in the pockets good thumbs up from me for these so I'm back in the uh, the backyard of doom after that a few things I forgot to mention right so just reading off the fact sheet elasticated waistband so it's a good fit that actually is really helpful. YKK zip as I meant that. Hip mounted D rings, that's them. Rib stop fabric with a Teflon finish. It's uh, so if you put a hole in, the hole shouldn't get bigger. It does feel tough. And the Teflon finish as well, like stain proof. So I've got a few dirty marks on, but they'll wash out then. Um, 12 pockets, yeah. So, so that bar tacking at all the major seams and stress points in the tie at the bottoms um, you just get a lot of a lot of facts with it teflon fabric protection good color fastness in in done three and dying that means obviously they're not gonna run the black ones the black ones won't run and make everything black but yeah i'm impressed with these i'm going to be wearing these for work i'll give them a wash on friday but they've got that the ribstop fabric is like little squares i don't know if you can make it out i don't know if you can see it's like cross hatching squares fabric like you got in the tents so yeah like i say if you're going through brambles and thorns and nettles Apparently they're meant to stop you getting scratched the bits and stung. Also, a good point to mention is I had them on Windy Gale in that really windy camp. And um, Tom was getting cold legs, so he put his waterproof bottoms on. These were keeping the wind out, so they're quite windproof as well. I didn't get cold. Couldn't feel the wind coming through these. So that was quite good. So yeah, so there you go. Pair of trousers if you're into the bushcraft or hiking or work pants. Cannot really go wrong with these, like. So I recommend them. I really do. Thanks for watching.